Hi everybody and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. This is episode 3. As always, let's get into it. Stories used to be so simple. Subtitles, okay. So, settings, audio, subtitles are normally. So simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! <laughs> what is it? <gasps> it's... It's... Crane! Then he picked up something and then smashed them. going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than... I need to find snow. You need to find snow. Why? What's going on? Shit! Crane's been... <laughs> Baby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's snow is in danger. Perverted little fucker might be after snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's, it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? <coughs> the trip trap. And I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? Wait, right now. They were on their way out. Bigby! Wait. Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are 
thing she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful. What, what do you mean? Say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Yes. Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. The book can man ten twenty eight. Here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know I miss that the about memory you. of Lily. I miss how I will miss you and all of it. Equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And now it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so life. grateful to share with me. My sweetheart. Her memories of Thanks her. For everything. How she could be Vivian. stubborn and patient, rash and thoughtful. How she carried a torch for the old you ways, a big, for a tradition, star for a this shit hole of a town. And most of all, miss you it seems how Grand. Lily loved dearly loved her friends and family. She Pity. loved being around them in good times and bad. Pity. And Pity. Pity. But from what I've been told, I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. No. What on earth do you think you're- I know, I know, but something's happened. Not right now. No, you don't understand. I'm sorry, everyone. I don't get the fuck out of here. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about Sorry, this. I didn't know. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know he murdered your sister. I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I, I know, but this isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about I the think way. it was Crane. I don't care about procedure. I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane. Crane. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? He says that fucking Crane murdered Lily and you expect me to- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look, 
Holly, I know how this must No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? I just want Liddy's killer. I just want to get Lily's killer, Holly. Nothing more. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Yeah. I can't believe this. This Me is neither. someone I've worked with for decades. This is a guy, he gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mean, what are you telling me? It, it's all an act? Just, what have you found? Queen's hey, obsessed with you. No, Crane is completely obsessed with you. Oh my god, if this is about how Crane treats me at work... Just listen to me for a second, alright? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Green had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. He, he plays your story over and over again. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm... Just trying everything I can right now. I thought you were I sure. thought you were I thought, uh, I thought that Crane might be looking for you. Uh, I thought you might be in trouble. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Marissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. Take your time. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go at the motel? Did you find anything? L Lily was no. killed there. Yeah, Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa! Yeah, um, uh, coming! Wait, 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 easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? You're about to regret it. Run. It won't do any good. Just make it more fun for me. What are you dreaming about? You ain't a fast enough pup to prevent me from emptying both barrels into Snow White's face over there. We'll stick to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. Just take a little vacation, it's all. Fuck off! Three seconds to fuck off before this goes to a place you don't want it to. Oh, I don't have my stopwatch on me. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal. You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours. You think I'm scared? Uh, you think this act you got going scares me? Because it, it does. It. Always wanted to do things the fat way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please rest easy. This is not the hell is going on. What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. 
Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that. It ain't any of your what deal. Settle down, settle down. Now. It's it's one little crane. crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really? That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? Think you motherfuckers can come here uninvited? You think you can just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It's just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. I'll handle yeah, this. Let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Episode 3, A Crooked Mile. Ah, oh, hold on. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. Snow. You okay. okay. Yeah, I'm good. Is she? She's fine, baby. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Brendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. It's not up to me. I'm not the one who creates the situations. I'm just the one who has to deal with them. So you say. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The what town is, is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. Bye. Bye, Doc. So, to recap. Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, Crane. Yeah. But, I, I don't know. Just wait for that's the mirror? That's the plan? Just wait for the mirror? 
It's all we have right now. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if, I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but do you He's really behind think everything. he killed those women? He killed them, and he sent Dee and Dumb to slow me down. He's, he was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar, and I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow. Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were bad for Holly. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? Sure. It's kind of personal. What is it? And I, I don't want to offend you. Sure. It's just... When stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way, deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, no, I Stop don't pretending. enjoy it. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. Uh, you guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's... Crane must, uh, must have taken, taken a shot, shot with him. him. Uh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what? What, what do you mean? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend How long would it take? All right. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that- Never mind that. Come help me look. Anything. No, but there's enough notes and stuff here to take all night. Maybe check that stuff there. you can repress, you know? What else is there? What else is there? Come on, let's keep looking. And what do we have in this drill?
a book. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Bafkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he's going to see. Wait, what? What? What, what witch? witch? What would mean? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And then hung over. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me- I called a... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert? The mirror can't be no, fixed. No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define Bluebeard, help. why do you why care? Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <sighs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Snow can handle it. Obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> Alright, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. Which we was the buff kid? Babbling. Yeah, and that's if he's even going there. We're trusting a monkey's interpretation of a phone call. It's not an interpretation. It's what he said, all right? Yeah, and it's what we have. So let's go on it, okay? Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. Well, I can always do have to swing by both anyways. No, chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I have no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? 
Will the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Oh, the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. You know what? I'll do the whole episode in one video because I can't be bothered. The trip to bar, 12.38 a.m. One hour and 22 minutes left. <laughs> Read the sign! Close. It's me, Guys, Big Beat. It's me, Big Beat. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, you, it was Snow who let me go, right? It just, there was no sense in me staying in jail. She, she said so herself. Don't soil yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. If That's not important now. You can take it up with the missus later. Luckily for you, I don't have the time to get pissed off about this right now. Well, come on in, buddy. Brent, what? He's a traveler. What's wrong with you? Weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Just what in the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. In fact, I'm in a good goddamn mood, so you should take advantage. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says, or what you say? Grant, really, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. What's Holly? My heart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave them both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep... Hi, Lexa. Hi, Dismiss. It gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time. Seen really things? boy. Have you seen her sister's things? It wasn't burned at the funeral. I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. 
<coughs> that funeral back there, that was a shitty fucking send off for a pretty okay lady. No, you weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Brent, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You didn't exactly help things by charging in like that. Oh, yeah. Wait, what's that called? Uh, blaming the victim? Something? Holly and I were the ones that got shot. So did I. So whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Brand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. I don't have Let time for this. Time, Grant. Grant, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back. I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. What more do you want? What else can I fucking say? Here? What's the problem? What's the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, wait, I forgot. It's great you're here. Since you were the one who told us about it in the first place. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And none of it would have come out if Bigby hadn't have said nothing. Give me a break, like it's his fucking fault. She liked me, okay? There wasn't anything wrong with it. Oh, she liked him. All right, well, that changes everything. You know what? Fuck it. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay. Woody, I'll tell I you have what questions. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk. But when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh wait, I have questions. Anything else to tell me? You're sure there's nothing else you want to tell me? Or what? You're gonna smash another bottle on my head? I'm sure it's fucking sugar. There's nothing going on. I don't know where Lily's shit is. Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. Thanks for the vice. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. All right, Sheriff? What a fucking day.
you, Woody. Ah, uh, Woody. Yeah, yeah sure. sure. Woody, bar's closed, and Lily ain't around anyway, so you can run off back to the woods, I guess. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much. Of course, of course I cared. Did. I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight, but I still wish you could have been there. I just don't know what Bigby's doing, if he, if he cares about it, if he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of He's trying to do the right thing. He's just... He's trying to do what's right. You think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so... Uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. What? <laughs> if you were getting your clan on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. But, which one? Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Hey, I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Just an address book with your contacts initials. I'm not sure which one is the witch, though. People keep cropping up. Any, any ideas? Now. Any ideas? You should try going up to Crane's place. I sent Bakken up there to check on things. Bluebeard, you know. Or you could try at Tweedle's office. Just make it quick. We don't have a lot of time. The meeting is at two. I'll head over to Tweedledee's place. See what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. In the meantime, I'll see what I can do on this one. Okay. Good luck, Bigby. We'll find him, Snow. Hope you're right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, hi, Sheriff Beebe. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You've you worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or Dumb? They, Looking they for D and right now. Dumb. I'm not sure when they'll be back. I was hoping to have a talk with D or Dumb. Do you know where they are? No, they don't really keep regular hours as far as I can tell. Sorry. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out. Probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. Where's the office? Their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. No problem. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right. You're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. 
I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. It's, it's official, official fable town it. business. Don't worry. Right. right. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. What's that about? They do have their quirks. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dumb. Couple of freaks. <sighs> this is pointless. I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. How do you mean, mean help, help people? people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way he explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes they get packages from people. They can be like couriers, you know? Or who? All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. Don't touch. You know about this? Nah, uh, no. Hmm. Let's see if they got a file on a crane. Beauty. Beauty's in debt to the crooked man? So that's why they were at her apartment, and the woodsman's place. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Just just trying to make an honest living. I haven't not found anything yet. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great, they helped you. It's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. Who's he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. That's fake. Did he want it back so badly? Find anything? Not what I need. What if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business. They're nothing like me. Let's get one thing straight. They are nothing like me. Big P? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything because to... Because they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. Cause they, they are detectives. They shot, shot at Snow, Snow White. White. Baby, what happened here? You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't know. And How many both got injured? Got injured. Snow, White Snow White nearly got her head blown off. off. Do you get it now? <sighs> I, I, 
I didn't mean that. There's a door behind this file cabinet. Now, I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. I well, didn't the key say found should work. A secret passage. Talk to Snow. Maybe there's something she can do for you. Really? That would be. Thank you. It's Snow's hair. Snow White? Why? We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Auntie Greenleaf. This must be a witch Crane was using. I guess D and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. Anti Greenleaf. A G. This is it. I have to. I, I have, have to, to tell Snow. This, this is the place. place. There, there's a phone right over there. Thanks for it. Business office. I know who she is. Have me do instead. I don't know. Knock. I mean, we have no idea what's behind this. Right, guys. I need to go to the toilet. I'll be right uh, back. So yeah. Well, it's not technically right back, but I need to go, go for the toilet break. I know that's all I can get. All right, guys. Sorry, guys, about that. Uh, I had to go for a toilet break. I really. A long toilet break. 
Sorry about that. Is something wrong? Who are you? Who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so... Um... Strangers. I'm Big I'm Big B. It's just Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um... Is there anything... Is Auntie Griffel here? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there something you want? Snow, can you Snow, can you just do something here? I never have any idea what to say to these people. You mean children? Yeah. <sighs> do you mind if my friend here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Snow, I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. A stove. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy, that's how we like it. A recorder player. Let me guess. Big band or classic one? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. That your mom? Uh-huh. Mama Hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. The tree. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. It's been over all night, so... There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? How much longer do you think it'll be? Where do you buy your clothes? At a store. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I have to check, let's check this out. I'm sorry. No, put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me! The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you! I don't wanna, I don't wanna get in trouble!
What? Why, Why the little girl? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? How about because it works? That's why. Ain't good enough for you? Certainly kept you two off the set for a while. A short while. All right, start explaining. Excellent. Where's Crane? Where's Crane? Speak quickly. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want to... Why are you attacking Crane? In the name of everything holy, are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? Who are you protecting? Crane's friends for enemies. If you're not protecting Crane, who are you protecting? Get this through both of your skulls. I can't tell you. Just you being here is bad enough. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Crane, whatever it is that's we can protect you. Saying something? We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap if she's afraid for her life. We can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the people who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could... Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two faiths are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous living this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate, and very different means to handle it too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. The tree has to go. The tree has to go. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Green was here. He was here and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of despair. You know, here's the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. Just please, you can catch him if you leave, okay? Just leave and don't, don't burn my tree. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Order, sir. Order. Order.
No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Hold on. Oh, dear Mr. Scott, Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of our place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Her lips are sealed. Oh my god, Bigby! Wait, don't! I, I, I didn't do anything, I promise you, I didn't do anything! These girls, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I just have to get this stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell, but once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over! That's all, please! I'm innocent, completely. The completely ring won't innocent. work. The ring won't work. Ring leaves Sophia. What? No. This will work. I assure you, it, it must. I went you. Damn you, come on. Please. Tell me you killed her. My lips are sealed. has this been going on? Two. Two, maybe. But I didn't kill those women, baby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just, oh, God. You screwed up. Screwed up, up Crane. Baby, sure. Listen, the amount of evidence I have, the town wouldn't bat an eye if I were to throw you down the witching well tonight. Please, Sheriff. I'm telling you the truth when I say that I did not kill that woman. Bigby? Yeah? I don't think he did it. What? What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough. What, what, what do you mean? You don't, don't think, think he, he did, did it at all? all? If you'd seen the room... I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has yes, to answer, answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. This is different, Snow. Snow, you, and you know, know it. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fabletown, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how he knows he's more than he's saying. Here if he wasn't covering his tracks. This fuck up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't. Yes. Okay. He probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay. But if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm but sorry, but who the hell did? This is bigger you know than Crane. To come back here. This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Oh shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so- You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Think about Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, you're lucky. Extraordinary. You're lucky this one was here to save Thank your you. ass. As if it was up to me. Oh, have, have your head swinging from the Washington Bridge. Okay, Sheriff, that's enough. You don't get to pick when to listen to me. Just because you did what I asked back at Greenleaf's doesn't give you the right to act now without restraint. You have to respect this office, Bigby. And you have to respect me as its leader. Starting now. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. 
And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so that wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. Oh, God. If I were you, I'd keep that trap of your shot. that you're, how should I put this, attempting to claim what is the personal property of the crooked man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds, pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told them anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Who are you? Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here. Like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fable Town business. Step aside. Toydledee, what's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mondays call me? What? What? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody, Bloody Mary. Mary. That's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like no, to relax. This is my job. I fuck like off. my job. You can fuck off if you think you're getting him. I told you he'd never just give him up. Get all woke up.
Nice try, pal. The Woodsman's Axe! You know, you didn't think so well to work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just a piece. Right, Wolfie? I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys, <laughs> can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. No! Stay out of this! It's your lucky day, kid. Logan now says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh, and just between us girls? We need no camera. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick up pig if his life depended. Nope, not like your boyfriend. Well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I'm yet unjazzed about it. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. Next time on the Wall of Monkeys. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. When people hear what you did to Dom, they're going to think you've gone back to your old ways. Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point, do you? How did you interrupt?
Did you offer a job? Yes. Did you burn literally 40 point 40.4 players burned the tree. Did you kill Tweedum? You and 56 players killed Tweedum. <laughs> Not my! Not my! guys if you guys have enjoyed this episode of the world of mangas um yeah this probably take a while to upload and yeah and as always i'll see you guys on the next episode the next episode is uh, in a sheep of clothing <laughs>